Good afternoon everyone, welcome back to the lecture hall after a, let's say, interesting period. Now while it's lovely to see all of your bored expressions again, please do make sure to keep those masks on for the whole lecture, we don't want a repeat of the past few months. Now let's get back to it and take a look at the Firelink Greatsword from Dark Souls. The Firelink Greatsword is a large, distinctly aged looking weapon with a coiled blade which appears to perpetually glow with embers for most of its length. It's especially notable for being identical to the swords embedded within bonfires, particularly the ones used to ignite the Lotharic Firelink Shrine bonfire, previously sheathed through Eidex Gundir within the Cemetery of Ash. Although iconic and instantly recognisable to anyone who has ever rested at a bonfire, the Firelink Greatsword is unique in that it is the only known version of a relatively common item which can actually be used as a weapon. Other iterations can most commonly be found impaled into bonfires, presumably used as pokers to stoke the flame. However, an unusual outlier is the Coiled Sword that utilises Idex Gundir as a scabbard and protector of Firelink Shrine, whose bonfire can be enkindled by inserting the sword once Idex has been defeated. The fact that the Coiled Swords can be used not only to stoke a bonfire's flame, but to light one, indicates that they're inherently linked to the nature of the first flame, and are vital in the cycle of fire and dark. This is supported by the fact that the Firelink Greatsword itself can only be obtained by transposing the soul of the Lords. This in itself is potentially the most powerful soul to ever exist, as it contains the soul of every individual to ever link the flame, a task that has been carried out countless times beginning with Lord Gwyn, resulting in the creation of the Lord of Cinder. As far as research tells us, the origin of the first coiled sword is unknown, although it could be that it was a simple weapon or tool used to poke the very first bonfire, absorbing some of the first flame into itself, thus allowing it to create further bonfires, and the continued use of this design is simple tradition. It is also possible that, with time being bent and outright broken in the lands of Lothric, Drandleach and Lordran, each of the bonfires is simply a representation of the original bonfire, possibly the first flame itself, at different points in its timeline. This would then indicate that the coiled sword in each of them is in fact one in the same, and each of them seen throughout the quests of all of the chosen undeads are the Firelink Greatsword. This could explain why when the Lord of Cinder is encountered, it removes the Greatsword from a bonfire, and because the two are so inextricably linked, is encompassed within its soul upon its defeat. However, the myths and stories surrounding the First Flame, bonfires, and everything associated with them are extensive and often contradictory. Suffice to say that the truth behind the Firelink Greatsword and all of the coiled swords may have been lost to the mists of time. There are a few things that conjure up more speculation than the Firelink Greatsword, not simply because it's a usable version of a weapon so often seen throughout our travels, but also that it's clearly so intertwined with the First Flame, able to even summon an offensive wave of it if used correctly. For these reasons, as well as the fact that it's intertwined with the very fate of existence, the Firelink Greatsword has been given an artifact rating of momentous. I'm not sure about any of you, but this sword is certainly very interesting to me. I mean, just the speculation about whether it was simply a fire poker first or an oddly designed sword from the start really gets my mind racing. I shan't bore you with my inane musings for any longer though. Just remember to subscribe for more course content and become a Patreon for only $1 a month to gain access to my other lecture series, Profiles, and also be able to vote on what we cover next. Now, go and have a great week and I'll see you all next time.